pour yourself a cold one and join us for an hour filled to the brim with fun. It hurts in my ears right now. Entertainment. Cheeky, cheeky, bang, bang. Information. I need some water and a washcloth. And a little weirdness. Can I be a duck? Yeah, I don't, I don't think they want me to be a duck. It's Happy Hour with DJ Kyle. Welcome to Happy Hour today. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm your host, DJ Kyle. Want to say thanks to our sponsors, Ozark Barge and Doc. Thank you so much for your support of Happy Hour. Also, our good friends at our veterinary clinic. They are located all over and they can take care of your animals and make sure that they're happy and feeling good. Uh, they bring us a special cat today named Socks. We're going to be uh, learning about that. Also, Sir Dyke Yamaha, one of our new sponsors today. Thank you so much, Sir Dyke, and get ready for year-round fun with Sir Dyke Yamaha. We're gonna tell you all about that. Also, Ozark's Amphitheater, the exclusive attraction of Happy Hour. Fantastic shows all lined up this summer. And of course, our good friends at American Elm Company. Thank you so much for your support of Happy Hour with DJ Kyle. We have a great show lined up. Like I said, we have a cat named Socks gonna be on the show today. We have a young officer, Max Hollingsworth, and uh, he's going to be on the show. Absolutely amazing. You cannot miss out on this. We also sit down and uh, talk with Tim with WP Controls. He tells us about this new latest and greatest boat lift thing. It is absolutely amazing. And we have Kevin Hill. He's talk of the town. This guy's hilarious. You're not going to want to miss a second of happy hour right here on Lake TV. Breaking Benjamin, live in concert in Camdenton, with special guests, Bush, and Another Day Dawns. See them live at Ozarks Amphitheater, May 11th. Get tickets now at OzarksAmp.com. For more, visit BreakingBenjamin.com. Get tickets now. Want a dock that will withstand the wake from a million boats? Want a dock that's different from the usual dock? Then you want Ozark Barge and Dock in Gravois Mills. Ozark Barge and Dock now celebrating 35 years of building the best dock on Lake of the Ozarks. And we guarantee every dock we build. So when it comes time to build your custom dock, trust the best and go with Ozark Barge and Dock. Building the best dock at the lake for the last 35 years. If it's happening at the lake, it's happening on Lake TV. From the Polar Plunge. To festivals. Parades. Aquapalooza. And boat shows. Lake TV has it all, even the granddaddy of them all, the shootout. If you're looking for places to party, things to do, or even a new home to move into, you've got to love Lake TV. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Welcome to Happy Hour. We have a very special guest on today. This is uh, our good friend Tim from WP Controls. Tim, how are you doing today? Good. 
good, you good. I'm doing all right. Well, welcome into the studio, and we've kind of changed the studio up a little bit. Got rid of the uh, table because we have some really cool stuff to talk about. Now, this is your, like, these are your babies, right? This is like, you thought of this from ground up. Tell us the beginning of WP Controls, and then we'll kind of get into what these things are. Yeah, sure. Uh, my partner and I, um, we we actually uh, went to high school down here, so we, we go way back. But uh, we, back in 2018, we decided to uh, create um, these lift, these new state-of-the-art lift controllers. Uh, we were weekenders at the time, so uh, you know during the uh, winter months, you have uh, your boat to worry about, and sometimes we'd have to make a trip down just to see, make sure that everything was okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't have any full-time residents uh, in our cove, so we uh, decided to try to put our engineering minds together and uh, you know come up with something that uh, can solve that problem for everyone. So and it looks like you did so. What, these are the WP controls and they're available in lots of different uh, colors and designs. You even have one that's a lighthouse, which I think is really cool. And the first time that I got to see these, I walked up and I didn't realize what I was looking at. I saw the lighthouse and I thought, well, that's a really cool design. And then you pop the top of it and I was like, oh, there's stuff going on in here. So explain what all these things can do for someone's boat at their dock. Yeah, touch base on uh, what you said there, lighthouse. We uh, one of the one of the design ideas we had. We, we were thinking, uh, you know, all the lift controllers you see out there are just a generic box. You know, some people call it a trash can. But we decided to do something. You know, people like to accessorize their docks. Uh, you know, you'll see colored ladders and different colored tin on the roof and that sort of thing. So we wanted to try to follow that trend and. We've got uh, for currently three different designs. You know, you have the lighthouse, and this is our standard model, and then our nautical model. You know, has a nautical theme on it. Uh, but we also have, uh, I think, up to 12 different colors that you can print these in, and you can mi mix and match. If you want a different colored lid, you can. Uh, we had somebody uh, order a lighthouse with uh, black trim instead of the, the red. Oh, I see. Um, and we had someone order this particular uh, nautical model with uh, a gray uh, body and uh, black. Uh, uh, you probably can't see it, but there's a, a compass on top, and mm -hmm. that trim can be a, a special color as well. So they put uh, black on that particular one. Now, this is, this is saving lots of people and, and especially a lot of worry about your boat when you're maybe a weekender, you're only here just a, maybe once a month or something. This is really neat because you have an app on your phone that will tell you if your boat is down or if your lift is up or if it's starting to move. And so then you can, you can know exactly what's going on. On top of that, you guys have thought of everything with this. This is not just a boat lift that lifts up your boat and drops it back down. There's so much more to it as we see. There's a lot of electronics in here, but you have this piece that goes on the arm of your of the lift, right? Yeah. And that tells the system if it's up or down, right? Yes, correct. <clears throat> um, so uh, to touch base on how this, what all this does. Uh, so one of the problems uh, we didn't even know is a problem, but a lot of the lift controllers that we have out on the market are a lot of them are manual controls and you have levers and buttons and we had someone that wasn't necessarily familiar with the lake and boating and I had somebody uh, I, I told them to go ahead and lower the the lift and they just stood there in front of that <laughs> box and just kind of well yeah. what, what what do I do with this I've and done that says, before too because I'm like there's a few things here and I don't want to mm -hmm. like blow something up I'm like okay do I turn this and oh they're like no <laughs> then shut that switch off then turn that like everyone's supposed to know how it works but. sure so the way we fixed that problem was we added a flat panel touch screen uh, with simple controls we just have uh, up board and down and on this side we have uh, the gauge indicator showing in real time what position your lift is in um, so we made it super simple the app uh, looks exactly the same, um, so you can quickly log in, and it will show you the same thing that you and, see. And I love how they're synced up. So let's say that you're sitting at home, you're out of state, you're in Illinois, you're just sitting there hanging out, and you're wondering what is going on with my with my boat. Is it up? Is it down? Like there's a storm coming through. 
this app right here will tell you exactly where it is. So I love how these are so synced up to where mm -hmm. if the arm goes up or the arm goes down, sure. it's going to alert you and let you know that it's down. So yeah, so this sensor here is a solid state device. Uh, it, it is maintenance free. You don't have to worry about cold weather, uh, water, anything like that. You don't have to worry about debris in the water clogging up the sensor and making it malfunction. It just works. And so the way this works is we strap it to the arm of the lift. And as you can see down there, currently I'm in the between the board and down position. Okay. But as the lift goes up, you will see and it changes They'll change on the app real time and on also both. on the the main control. Wow. So now it's up. So now it's up. And um, and of course when you fire this up on its own, you'll just simply push either on your app or on the device itself. It has the warning buzzer and then it has the uh, warning light just showing that there's motion, you know, uh, you know just so that people are aware that that lift is going to move. That's and so once cool. this thing goes to the up position, it'll go ahead and shut all the valves, turn off the blowers, and then it'll go ahead and uh, turn off the, the lights and, and you can just, you know, as, as soon as you press the up button, you can actually walk away and it'll do all these things for you. And then it just stops. Yeah. It, oh, nice, because it knows when it's in the up position. Mm -hmm. So wow. like, uh, I've found, you know, I have th these on my dock as well, and I find that I never even touch the, the controller itself. I always have the app. So like when I'm on the boat, I'll be at the house and I'll say, you know, if we want to go on the boat ride, we'll go ahead and push board. The boat will go to the board position so you can walk on the walk onto the uh, boat easily. And so when you get down to the dock, it's already there. So I'll have the app and I'll, everybody will load up in the boat. We'll put the app on the helm. Everybody's in, I'll go ahead and push down. The lift will drop the boat and you just pull out. Nobody has to jump off the wow. boat and jump back on the boat to try to mess with the, uh, the lift. And that's even a safety thing, because you, you could actually put your lift back up in the up position while you're out on the lake, and then when you're coming back, you can hit down, and it'll Absolutely. be down and ready for when you, when you come back in. Absolutely, so one of the things with that is there's a lot of community docks, and a lot of those uh, HOAs there say you have to raise the lift uh, when you leave the slip, so it doesn't damage the dock or the lift. Oh, wow. And so with this app, you can do so, you can go ahead and leave, raise it, and you can be out on the lake because the, the, problem, the problem with that doing that is uh, when you get back, that lift doesn't have any weight on it, so it's going to take 15 minutes to drop. Uh -huh. And so you don't want to sit there and hover around waiting for that, especially if it's raining or you know, windy. Um, so with this app, you can be at the, uh, you know, the restaurant on the lake, and you can say, we're getting ready to head out. Let's go ahead and push down. You drive back home, that, that lift is down, we're ready for you to, to load up. Wow. And, and not only that, again, you guys have thought of everything on these devices. So this is, again, not just uh, a lift. This is a lift on steroids. You have, uh, I'm just going to spin this one here around. You have a camera built in to the machine. So even if you're at the restaurant and you're wondering, I wonder if, I, if my boat lift is down or up, you could see if it's down or up. That Absolutely. is amazing. Not only can you see it on the gauge on the app, you'll see that it's actually down, but you can also look uh, on the app. You can press, uh, go to the camera mode, and it'll show your slip, your entire slip, and you can see what's going on there. Wow. That's especially helpful you know, if you're out of town and you're wanting to know what's going on. You can mm -hmm. go ahead and flip on that camera um, and do so. Yeah, and, and we were talking a little bit earlier how uh, sometimes of the year, um, you know, your your air pressure in the tanks or whatever will go down or expand or whatever. And so your your dock or your uh, boat lift might go up or down. This will, uh, this will alert you. And then on top of that, you could log in and see the camera and see exactly what's going on. Yeah, so it has a uh, automatic height maintainer mode. Um, so when your boat is in the up position, it'll go ahead and maintain that mode. Uh, so if it detects that it goes down a little bit, it'll go ahead and air it up, but it'll also send you a text message. So if you don't have your app open, you don't have to worry about it. It's going to send you a text message saying your lift moved or the auto height maintainer kicked in and you'll know about it. Um, so like he was saying in the winter time, uh, you know, the air, hot air expands, cold air retracts. So you have less uh, buoyancy with the colder air. So the mm -hmm. lift will actually drop a little bit. 
Well, this will go ahead and detect that and lift it back up and let you know that it happened. Uh, same thing if you had a leak on your lift, this will go ahead and maintain it and you know, you'll be getting these texts saying it happened, it happened, it happened. So if you get a lot of those texts and you'll say, okay, there's something going on with that lift. I need somebody to go out there and service it. Um, but you're not stuck with a boat float, you know, floating out yeah. in the middle of winter uh, <laughs> without you there and knowing about it. And, and how easy are these to install? Like you already have your boat lift out there, but you just want to bring it to uh, the new technology. Mm -hmm. how, how easy is this to yeah, for an so installation? These replace your existing controller. It contains the blowers and valves and everything you need. Um, we, we offer installation uh, for really, really a reasonable price, but you can install it yourself. We have instructions on the website. You simply uh, remove your old lift, lift controller. You bolt this one to the dock, um, and then you tie wrap this to the arm, on the pivot arm on your lift, and then um, you'll need, uh, of course, next to the power pole, so you plug it in, and that's pretty much it. Go wow. ahead. And, it has a uh, setup wizard on there. It'll show you, uh, it'll step you through the, uh, the lift calibration, which is three simple button presses. Uh, and then it'll finally go to the uh, app setup. It'll have a QR code on there. You can scan your phone on that, on that uh, screen and it'll go right to the site and show you how to finish setting up your app. And if you have some kids running around the dock or you just uh, have some maybe nosy neighbors that like to open this up and hit buttons, you could put password protect on this, right? Because that way you don't have kids just running around and trying to yeah. play video games or whatever. <laughs> yeah, we had, um, we had a, a, someone request to have a password protected screensaver on it. So we've went ahead and implemented that. Um, so if, you know, if you don't want anybody else messing with your lift, you can go ahead and put that password on there. Uh, a lot of people are saying, well, I always forget my password. So we also created uh, an algorithm that each day it'll create a new temporary password. So if you forget the one you put in there, you can get on your app and there, there'll be a temp uh, password displayed on, on the app. Wow, nice, nice. So if you want your boat to be nice and safe and secure, WP controls, super, super advanced. I just, I absolutely love this. Where could people get more information about WP controls or where could they just buy these? Yeah, um, so we have several dealers um, around the lake, uh, lift control, uh, I'm sorry, lift, boat lift manufacturers uh, that, that also sell them for us. But you can also go to our website at www.wpcontrolsllc.com um, and you can pick out the style you want, the colors um, and, and finish the uh, e-commerce right there. And they're, they're very sturdy. I would assume water and stuff just splashes right off of this, right? Yeah, um, so these are, uh, they come with a two year warranty and, uh, and all, everything you see here, like the, uh, everything that's plastic, we 3D print in house. Uh, everything is made, uh, we try to keep everything, all our parts and things in the US as possible. Um, our metal parts are made here in Lebanon, Missouri. Uh, we've got our circuit boards that we've designed are uh, manufactured in uh, Colorado. Um, like I said, we 3D print uh, everything in-house with I love plastic that. from the U.S. And, uh, and we do all our final assembly and test here in Lori, Missouri. That is absolutely amazing. Well, good luck with everything. Again, WP Controls, if you want your dock to be awesome, WP Controls put that on there. And I understand you have a lot of customers that purchased one for one of their dock slips and now they're coming back going, well, I want to put my uh, put one in this <laughs> slip and I want one for my wave runners or whatever. So Yeah, absolutely. That's uh, great. Referrals are awesome. We love those. Uh, you know, they, they'll, as soon as they get one, you know, people will test, put their toe in the water and test one out. They'll, they'll buy one and then find out, uh, you know, next year, let's go ahead and finish out the dock with, with these. Or, or oh yeah, have. absolutely. So one more time, tell them where they can find WP Controls. Sure, www.wpcontrolsllc.com or you can call us 888-841-4404. Awesome, well Tim, thank you again for coming in and bringing these awesome uh, electronics and toys. I just, I love seeing stuff like this and good luck with uh, everything in the future. Well, thank man. you. <laughs>
Want a dock that's different from the usual dock? Then you want Ozark Barge and Dock in Gravois Mills. Ozark Barge and Dock now celebrating 35 years of building the best dock on Lake of the Ozarks. And we guarantee every dock we build. So when it comes time to build your custom dock, trust the best and go with Ozark Barge and Dock. Building the best dock at the lake for the last 35 years. Ozarks Amphitheater, the exclusive attraction of Happy Hour. Some great shows coming up. Breaking Benjamin with special guest Bush and Another Day Dons. That's happening Thursday, May 11th. Mark your calendars. Also, we have the Avett Brothers. They're coming Friday, June 16th. Special guest Government Mule. Tickets are on sale right now at OzarksAmp.com. Go get them. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, Lake TV's got it all. We think it's hot stuff when things cool down. We spring into action when things start warming up. Of course, summer is one big, huge shootout on Lake TV. And we fall in love all over again when autumn rolls around. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, Lake TV's got it all. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Hi there, I'm Kevin Hilly, and this is Kevin Hilly's Talk of the Town. Back here at the Tri-County YMCA of the Ozarks for the Hubilation 5K. Have you ever had green eggs and ham? I have not. You shall today. <laughs> okay. Would you eat green eggs and ham? Yes, sir. Have you ever eaten green eggs and ham? I have. What made them green? Uh, food coloring. It wasn't just they were sitting out for a week and... No. Uh, have you ever eaten green eggs? We'd never try green eggs in here. There's some just in the other room, you know. No. Honest opinion, no. <laughs> I probably would not. Is it because of the color of the eggs? <laughs> it's the color. In which book do you find a girl named Sally? Ooh. Oh my gosh, I forgot. That's so sad. I apparently need to read that book. Very famous, very famous book. Um... In which book do you find a little girl named Sally? Ooh. You're up, Tiffany. <laughs> cat in the Hat. Wow! <laughs> That's Cat in the Hat. Yes, it is. Very good. <clears throat> I'm impressed. In which book is there a little girl named Sally? Uh, uh, <laughs> Think again. Uh. Fox on socks or something. I don't know. Sally, that's the Grinch that stole Christmas. No, no, that's Cindy Lou Who. I know nothing. Cindy, else. we we don't have anything to do with Cindy in this question. <laughs> oh, it's, I don't know which one Sally's in. Um, <laughs> uh, Sally. Uh, that would be. I don't know. <laughs> Pussy cat? <laughs> the black cat. Or the cat cat in the hat. Oh my god. I knew we'd work our way around to it eventually. For sure, no idea. No idea. The third one. <laughs> hey, what do we hop on? Our foot? No. Uh. Sauce. 
No, I don't remember this. Our feet. A trampoline. <laughs> I don't know. You're stomping us. No idea. What do we hop on? Anybody, what do we hop on? Pop. Ah, pop. 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 Do we? Yes, we do. Who? Pop. The kids pop. <laughs> You're making me do it again. <laughs> what do we hop on? Pop. Pop. Are we sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's usually a bus or, you know, somewhere you're traveling, you hop on, you know. What? For the purposes of a Dr. Seuss book, what do we hop on? Uh, one leg. <laughs> She's looking around for an answer. They're older than us. What do we hop on? What do we hop on? Should we hop on out of here? <laughs> what was the Grinch's dog's name? Max. Oh, I know this one. I watched the movie. Except I forgot it. <laughs> it's, um... I can't remember. I'm too old to remember all these stories. <laughs> the dog, your Grinch's dog's name was Rudolph. Max. That was Max. You sure? I am 100. Positive? Yes. Final answer. Final answer. What was the Grinch's dog's name? Uh, Max. Oh, you think I'd know this? I can't remember. I don't know. A wild guess. Morton. <laughs> Vital. <laughs> no. Hey, thanks for joining me for this edition of Kevin Hilly's Talk of the Town. I'll talk to you on the radio Monday through Friday, 5.30 till 10 on 94.3 Cat Country with Hilly and Hart. And then 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on 101.9 The Wave. Come, come on up here a little closer, ladies. We're losing you. No, no, no. Stay where you were. I mean, don't switch places. I know, but I didn't know anything no. over there. <laughs> Breaking Benjamin, live in concert in Camdenton, with special guests, Bush, and Another Day Dawns. See them live at Ozarks Amphitheater, May 11th. Get tickets now at OzarksAmp.com. For more, visit BreakingBenjamin.com. Get tickets now. Want a dock that will withstand the wake from a million boats? Want a dock that's different from the usual dock? Then you want Ozark Barge and Dock in Gravois Mills. Ozark Barge and Dock now celebrating 35 years of building the best dock on Lake of the Ozarks. And we guarantee every dock we build. So when it comes time to build your custom dock, trust the best and go with Ozark Barge and Dock. Building the best dock at the lake for the last 35 years. If it's happening at the lake, it's happening on Lake TV. From the Polar Plunge. To festivals. Parades. Aquapalooza. And boat shows. Lake TV has it all, even the granddaddy of them all, the shootout. If you're looking for places to party, things to do, or even a new home to move into, you've got to love Lake TV. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Welcome to Happy Hour, and we have 
the happiest hour. If you don't have a smile on your face at the end of this, something is absolutely wrong with you. We have a couple of fine folks here sitting with us and look at this esteemed gentleman. This guy right here, his name is Max. You want to wave to everyone, Max? <laughs> now, Max is uh, one of our junior police officers. Is that right? And Max, who do we have over here next to you? Who is that? That's your mom. That's your mom. And what's your mom's name? Melissa. Oh, you, Melissa even got mom's name right. Okay, so we have Melissa and we have Max. And Max, as I understand, I, I would love to play a guessing game because I have this question written down here. Can I guess what you want to be when you grow up? Police officer. Oh, well, you gave the answer already. I was going to guess that. I thought maybe fireman, but no, you went with police officer. No. So Max wants to be a police officer when he grows up. And Max, how old are you right now? Five. You're five. So you're getting there. You're on your way. Do you know at what age you can, that you have to be to be a police officer? They told you yesterday. Oh. How old? Do you remember? How old? 21. 21. 21, that means you're not too far away. Now, so you're five years old, you wanna be a police officer when you get older. When did you decide that you wanted to be a police officer? Do you remember it? Like two years ago? Yeah. Yeah, a couple years ago? I understand yeah. you, you got, was it this outfit here that you got to uh, put on for Halloween? Yeah. Man, I tell you, Max, if I had the exact same outfit that I wore for Halloween, a, I wouldn't be able to fit into it, but B, if I could, I'd probably want to be a police officer too. That is a very, very cool outfit. You have everything, everything that you need. You got your compass over here, your radio, and what are, what's the shiny stuff right here? What's the shiny? That's handcuffs. Oh, that's handcuffs. Okay, well, I better be on my best behavior so you don't handcuff me, right? Okay, all right, because I don't, I don't want to be handcuffed today. So let's talk about some of the stuff that you brought. First of all, I want to talk about this right here. What, what is this here? My shirt. Your shirt. And why is this such an important shirt? Has your name on it. Has my name on it. Yeah. Get your name right there. And look at the back of this. Oh, that is so cool. Now, how did, how did you get a shirt like this? How do you become a Lake Ozark Police Department junior officer. You went to their station yesterday. Yeah. Oh, you went to their station? I understand on your fifth birthday just recently, ha you had a whole bunch of people show up at your birthday party, right? Did some of those people that show up, did they have lights and sirens on their car? Who were they? Police officers. Were they police officers? Did you get really excited when they showed up? <laughs> oh, what, what all did you get to do? We walked to jail. You, you walked to jail? Yeah. Oh, did they lock you in there? Okay, good. You just, you just went in the jail, but you didn't get locked in. Yeah, and that was yesterday. Yeah, Ooh. but at your party, what did you get to do? I, I, I... Sat in their cars? Yeah. You got to sit in a police car? Did you... Oh, is you this for me? Do, do I get one of these? Oh, oh this is oh, fantastic. Oh, awesome. This is great. <laughs> Thank you, Max. Now, now, does this mean that I'm a corporal or I'm a lieutenant or I'm a... What, oh, and thanks, mom buddy. gets one too. Look at this. Thanks. <laughs> we, we all got Max's approval. That's yes. nice. But what all did you do in the car during your uh, birthday? Did you get to... You didn't get to turn on the lights and sirens, oh. did you? Yes, you did. No way. What, what did that feel like when you did that? Were you excited? Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, why don't you tell me a little bit about what we have here on the table? What's some of your favorite stuff? Which one's that? Do you remember? Um. Close um, Yeah. All right. So we have a, a, a police. What, what do we call this? Osage Beach. Osage Beach. That's a shoulder patch. Shoulder patch. Okay, so this this is a lot like the one that you have right here, huh? But if you if you work for the city of Osage Beach, mm -hmm. this would be the one that you would have on your shoulder. Oh, and look at this. I've got a lot of friends that work for the city of Osage Beach, and I have a lot of friends that work for Camden County Sheriff, and I even have some that work for Lake Ozark. And you have all of these. Mm -hmm. Look at this. 
turn this one the right way. And now this one, I'm, I'm not familiar with Collier. Where's that from? Um, um, Florida. Florida. You got one in Florida? Mm -hmm. So everywhere you go, Max, everyone knows Max, <laughs> the, the volunteer, the junior police officer this in this area. And you go to Florida and you get patches. Oh, and look at this one. The infamous Lynn Creek. Yeah, I, drew, I drive by there all the time. I have some friends or had some friends that worked there back in the day. And tell me about these, what are these little coins and stuff that you have here? Uh, those are called challenge coins. Yeah. So we were told when um, somebody does something good, then they get one. Yeah. Nice. So like if they do a good deed or volunteer or something, then. And you, you so must have done some real good deeds yeah. and some volunteer work. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh huh. Well, tell me, what's something that you want to do to change the world? Have you thought about that? What yeah. would you like to do to change the world? Um. Be a police officer. Yeah. What would you do? Would you help people? You want to help people out? Maybe you're hurting or maybe you're are in trouble and you can help them out? Max, that is so cool. And mom, Melissa, tell me, when, when did you see this start to just blossom the way that it is? Yeah, um, so it was Halloween about two years ago when he put this costume on and then just never took it off. <laughs> so um, we were kind of talking before about, at first I wouldn't let him wear it out to eat or to Walmart, because uh -huh. I was like, you can't wear that to church. Um, but then I was like, you know what? It makes him happy and it doesn't hurt anybody. So go ahead, put it on. That's right. And, so he and it keeps everyone it. around us safe, yes. doesn't it? Because who <laughs> else do I know that has a pair of handcuffs on them at any right. time? Right. Yeah. So Max, do you think to wrap this up, you might be able to handcuff me? Oh, oh arrest them. Show, show me how we do it? Yep. Okay. All right, you have to arrest me here. Okay, thank you. We, we got to go out in style. We're going to let Max get his handcuffs out. Max, I'm so happy that you came here on this show and showed us all this really cool thing. And one thing that we kind of left out, Oh yeah. which kind of was one of my favorite things, was when you put this on. You got a built-in mustache? Okay, I guess it's, oh, are you gonna put that on while you arrest me? You want me, you want me to hold something for you? Lots of stuff, it's all the time. <laughs> we, we have extra wires too, because we have microphones, so we're not used to those wires on our, yes. Look at this. Get a load of Max right here. Say hi. <laughs> he will be your future Lake of the Ozarks police officer here at about, what? 15 years, he's going to really get, get going on it, like get practicing on it. And 16 years, you'll see him out there on the force. Uh-huh. Maybe he might look just like that. I don't know. You might not recognize him in, in 16 years. What do you think? <laughs> All right. Well, go ahead and arrest me, man. Do, do the best. Now, do you have to read my Miranda rights? Okay. You can do that later. Oh. Means business. Yeah, we got, we, this is business. We got it. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Here we go. That's right. You got to get the right hat on. That's the arresting hat. So you're going to tell me what I did wrong? What, what, what did, did I do wrong? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I uh, failed to mention about uh, this down here. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, welcome to happy hour. Yeah. <laughs> we, we don't do everything right here. <laughs> well, that's it. Max, I don't think I'm going anywhere now. Okay. Do we have to go to jail now? Uh, all right. Well, while Max is taking me to jail, Max, Melissa, thank you so much for coming on today. I had thank a great you. time. Thank you. And I cannot wait to see what you do in the future, man. One, one day I'm going to see you out there in the uh, police car driving around. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks again, Max. And oh, I get, oh, I get two. So I get arrested and I get two. Well, there we go. That's, that's one way to think about it. Thank you so much, Max. And we have a whole lot more coming up right here on Happy Hour on Lake TV. See you soon. Want a dock that will withstand the wake from a million boats? Want a dock that's different from the usual dock? 
then you want Ozark Barge and Dock in Gravoy Mills. Ozark Barge and Dock now celebrating 35 years of building the best dock on Lake of the Ozarks. And we guarantee every dock we build. So when it comes time to build your custom dock, trust the best and go with Ozark Barge and Dock, building the best dock at the lake for the last 35 years. Ozarks Amphitheater, the exclusive attraction of Happy Hour. Some great shows coming up. Breaking Benjamin with special guest Bush and Another Day Dons. That's happening Thursday, May 11th. Mark your calendars. Also, we have the Avett Brothers. They're coming Friday, June 16th. Special guest Government Mule. Tickets are on sale right now at OzarksAmp.com. Go get them. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, Lake TV's got it all. We think it's hot stuff when things cool down. We spring into action when things start warming up. Of course, summer is one big, huge shootout on Lake TV. And we fall in love all over again when autumn rolls around. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, Lake TV's got it all. Hey, for the gorgeous Wild Will, I'm Uncle Chris, and we got a great cup of coffee show for you this week. Osage Beach Mayor Harmison is on. Big things going on in Osage Beach. So many developments there, plus Jeff Renetti with Ballparks National on to talk about their sportsmanship initiative. And usually when cops show up to your birthday party, it's not good, but we have a birthday party with cops that's great. For one, Max Hollingsworth, plus the Serdike House officially for sale. I'll tell you about that and a whole lot more on this week's show. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Another furry friends presented by our veterinary here on Lake TV. I'm Megan Albers. This is Mary Meow Me Tilly, and uh, we have a couple of very cuddly felines. One who's a fan of being held, one mm -hmm. who is not but loves attention. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Socks over there loves pet pets. She just doesn't really like to be picked up. Yes. Uh, Miss Loki here uh, loves to be snuggled. Um, I may have to put her down before we're done and, and put her back She's in her kennel. She's doing a little bit of a tail flick. She's yeah. not too <laughs> sure about what's happening. She, want, she wants it socks, and that's that. she wants it socks because they came from the same home. Okay. And she's trying to get over there in the kennel. Gotcha. But, <laughs> yeah. So, um, Miss Socks over there is about two and a half years old. Okay. And Loki is about a year and a half. And Loki does have a pending adoption, uh, but she was she was back here behind me messing with my hair and everything, and I thought, Just well, maybe as well like get her out and let her get some attention. Yeah. When they have a pending adoption, um, sometimes they don't go through, mm -hmm. and so we still uh, allow people to um, spend time with them and meet them and, and put in applications. <laughs> she's, All right. she's done. All right, let's get she's, down. She's over it. <laughs> um, because, you know, it, the adoption's still pending until they actually walk out the door. Yeah. Um, so, you know, just in case we wanted to showcase her, she was, she was back there trying to pet me earlier. So. Yes. <laughs> but, um, so these two and a third kitten uh, who's about nine months old, Lexi, uh, they all came from the same household. Okay. Uh, their their owner, um, I never did exactly hear what was going on with her, but she had some kind of a medical condition. She's been sick for a while, 
And her doctor recommended that she rehome her cats because he thought that the cat dander and the litter dust oh, and everything okay. from having multiple cats was making her worse. Mm. Um, there was one more kitten in the home, or one more cat in the home, uh, who was actually Lexi's sister. Mm -hmm. uh, and when they went in to go, the family member who went to go get the cats and actually bring them to us, um, when uh, Lacey was seeing everybody else getting kenneled, she kind of freaked out and she ran and hid and they couldn't get her. Yeah. <laughs> so at some point later on down the road, they're going to try to try to get back to the sister's house and go oh, um, go pick her up and bring her to us yeah. on down the road. But, but these guys, uh, they came into us. Uh, this was a situation where, you know, life just made a U-turn on her. She did everything that she should have done. She found each of these cats as kittens, uh, took them to the vet, got all their vetting done, mm -hmm. got, uh, got them spayed and, and well taken care of. We had vet records going back to when they were just a few oh, weeks wow. old. Good. Uh, so we really didn't have to do a whole lot of them on them. They were up to date on shots and everything. They were pretty much ready for adoption as soon as they came in. Uh, they just kind of been pending here because I've been waiting on vet paperwork to come yeah. in the mail. We yeah. needed those rabies tags and certificates before we could send them home. Um, but yeah. Uh, She's and such a lover. <laughs> like, I don't know if you're seeing this in the background, but my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, we She's got a little, we got a little derp going on there too. A little, a little tongue action, a little bit. Yeah, out. her yeah. tail's nice and wet. She flopped into the water, so maybe she likes the water. Who knows? Yeah, <laughs> or she water, just Katie? doesn't care. Do you like to go swimming? <laughs> oh says, goodness! No, I'm just not paying attention because I'm getting pet pets. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> My so, door is open and I'm getting pet pets. Yes, yeah, that's all she cares about. <laughs> so potentially all three of these cats are available for adoption, yes. pending yes. the one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then you said they were well taken care of, come from a very loving home. Mm -hmm. uh, do they have any kind of like stipulations? No, nope, or... we don't okay. have any restrictions on any of these three. Uh, just looking for some loving adopters who want to keep them for the rest yeah. of their lives. Who loves to pet a cat because, my yeah. goodness, she is loving all of this. <laughs> It's and fantastic. little Lexi over there, she's not quite a year old yet, mm -hmm. and so she's still got some of that kitten energy in her. Yeah. She's very playful, and I honestly, I'm, I'm surprised she's still here at this point because yeah. she's one of the younger ones we have available mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're they're all all waiting for a good home to well, go good. go to. Um, of course, as always, you can go to OzarksCatandCanine.com. You fill out your application there to get pre-approved, and uh, you can stop by here and meet <laughs> one or all three of these beautiful mm -hmm. cats. Um, and then also on your website, if people are interested in volunteering, can they find out more there as well? Yes, uh, okay. there is a page on our website for volunteers. Uh, so they can go on there, they can fill out an application, and with our volunteer application, it's not that we're probably, we're probably not going to turn anybody down mm -hmm. unless they're not old enough. You have to be 18 to yeah. be able to volunteer. Uh, occasionally I will get someone younger and I'll be like, you know, get back with me when you have your birthday yeah. and we'll be happy yeah. to have you. Uh, liability reasons, insurance, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. They got to be 18. Uh, but what we're looking for on the volunteer application is we're just wanting to, to learn a little bit about you, mm -hmm. get an idea about what you're interested in doing, uh, what kind of, if you have any kind of experience, you know, with dogs or, and cats. You know, maybe you've volunteered at a shelter somewhere where you lived before yeah. or, you, you know, you've worked somewhere. Um, and then uh, get your emergency contact information mm -hmm. and all that. You know, got to have all that the important on record. Things. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then um, once once I receive that, uh, I have recently taken over the volunteer orientations. Oh, fun! Uh, yeah, we had a board <laughs> member who used to do that. Yeah, and she has retired from the board. Uh, is working um, a regular job now mm, okay. and doesn't hadn't had the time to do that. Yeah. So that kind of I was like, well, I guess I can fit that in. Hi, yeah. Loki. <laughs> She's patting <laughs> me back here. Um, so once I get your application, then I would get a hold of you to schedule an orientation time. Okay. Uh, those usually take, depending on what you're wanting to do when you're here, uh, usually take around 45 minutes to an hour. And um, start out, and, and, and I start out with you, give you a little tour of the place, go over mm -hmm. the do's and don'ts, you know, what you're allowed to do, when you can come in, and things like that. Yeah. And then um, I would, and then if you're wanting to, 
do with the, deal with the dogs mm -hmm. and walking and things like that, then I will pass you on to a member of our canine team. And then they would show you, you know, where we keep the leashes, how we go about getting them out of the kennels, where you can walk and things like that. Yeah. Um, and then if anybody is interested in volunteering at the thrift store, because the thrift store has two paid employees, the mm. manager and mm -hmm. one part timer and everybody else up there is volunteers. So yeah. they're always looking for help as well. If you're interested in the thrift store, uh, then we'll put you in touch with Penny okay. and, and then she can take over from there. All right. So uh, basically, it seems like that there's a volunteer position for anybody. You mm -hmm. know, you can kind of, yeah. hey, I want to work more with the dogs or I want to work more with the cats. Or, right, okay. right. I mean, sometimes we have, you know, and when I say, you know, 45 minutes to an hour, depending on what you want to do, you know, sometimes we have people who come in who are allergic to cats. So, mm -hmm. you know, then we're not going to take you back to the cat room and yeah. spend time back there yeah. and things. You will go straight into the dogs. Uh, the nice thing about volunteering here is that a lot of places want you to commit to a certain number of hours a month. Mm -hmm. You know, they want to kind of schedule their volunteers. They yeah. want to know when you're going to come, how long you're going to be here and all that. We don't require that. Oh, good. Uh, when you can come, if you're coming in to help with the animals, you can come anytime during the hours that we're here on site. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be during our public hours. Once you finish that orientation, you can come in the mornings. Um, and I have a couple of guys who, um, like if they get an extra long lunch hour and they don't have anything to do, they make you pop in for a few minutes, walk a dog, oh, you know, awesome. work off some, some steam, yeah. you know, if they're having a rough day and then they go back to work. That's you know, a good so, idea. So, you know, you can do that. You can come in and, and walk one dog and, and go home. You know, we're not going to, we're not going to try to force you to do anything yeah. you don't want to do or you don't have time to do. And we always want people, you know, we want people to have fun when they come mm -hmm. in. And so we want people to know that, you know, you, you don't have to handle any animal you're not comfortable with. If you, um, if you don't have the strength or, or if you're nervous around large dogs, then yeah. you know, we're going to keep you with the little ones. Good. Uh, you don't necessarily have to take them out and actually walk them on a leash. You can go in their kennels with them. And spend some time in Get there, just loving on them. Or we can take you out. And what we do with some ladies is we take them out to the side yard where we usually do the dog mm -hmm. um, programs. And uh, we'll just, you know, we'll bring them a dog, wait a little bit of time, come get that dog, bring them another one. You know, oh, they good. don't even have to actually handle yeah. getting the dogs in and out yeah. of the kennels. They're they're we'll, you know, we'll take care of that for you. And then yeah. you can just spend some time in the yard with the dogs. So. Well, that's awesome. It sounds like a great so, idea. Yep. I yep. love that. So, <laughs> again, if you'd like to adopt one of these uh, beautiful cats, um, this super lovable one here is just, I'm, I might take her home myself because she's just loving all this um if you'd like to adopt one of the cats or if you'd like to apply to uh, volunteer you can go to ozarkscatandcanine.com thanks again mary it's been fun as always always best yeah. part of my day i'm not gonna lie uh that does it for another furry friends presented by our veterinary here on lake tv Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Ozarks Amphitheater, the exclusive attraction of Happy Hour. Some great shows coming up. Breaking Benjamin with special guest Bush and Another Day Dons. That's happening Thursday, May 11th. Mark your calendars. Also, we have the Avid Brothers. They're coming Friday, June 16th. Special guest Government Mule. Tickets are on sale right now at OzarksAmp.com. Go get them. If it's happening at the lake, it's happening on Lake TV. From the Polar Plunge. To festivals. Parades. 
Aquapalooza. And boat shows. Lake TV has it all. Even the granddaddy of them all, the shootout. If you're looking for places to party, things to do, or even a new home to move into, you've got to love Lake TV. Thank you so much for joining us on this uh, show of Happy Hour. Again, I'm your host, DJ Kyle. I want to say thanks to our sponsors, Ozark Barge and Dock. Thank you so much for your support of Happy Hour. Sirdike Yamaha for year-round fun. We have lots of stuff in store for you to show you all the cool things, all the cool toys that Sirdike has. I even get a chance to ride in some of these toys, so I'm very excited about that. Also, a thanks to Ozark's Amphitheater, the exclusive attraction of Happy Hour. And I'm very excited because we're going to have Tom and Mary Kay from the Ozarks Amphitheater right in here this next week on our show. That's going to be crazy. If you get all three of us in one room, you just never know what's going to happen. So we might have broken guitars thrown around here, some drum sets that we just toss around. You just never know. Also, I uh, want to say thanks to our veterinary clinics. Thank you for keeping our animals nice and happy and healthy. And they also brought us our furry friends today, that cat named Socks. You might want to take that cat home, so if you'd like to, make sure uh, you get in touch with them and uh, get that cat all taken home to a nice new home. Saying thanks to our guests today, thanks to Tim with uh, WP Controls, definitely appreciated you being on the show. Kevin Hilly, you always have us laughing with your talk of the town. And that officer, Max Hollingsworth, absolutely adorable. I, I just, not enough to say about Max, but keep reaching for your dreams, Max. Keep doing it. And of course, our furry friends. We have a great show lined up for you next week right here on Happy Hour. We have Professor Jim Paisley. He's going to be coming in and telling us about the Missouri mule. So we're going we're gonna to get get a little uh, learning going on about Missouri Mule. Also, uh, like I said, Tom and Mary Kay come in with the Ozarks Amphitheater. We have our West Side Chamber. Uh, we have a special feature on our West Side Chamber, so you're not going to want to miss that. We have lots of stuff in store for you right here at Happy Hour, and I'm also out DJing out and about on the town, so would love to have you come by and visit some of our uh, shows. Sunday nights, I'm at uh, Captain Ron's. We have our big senior heart out competition Amateur singers, come on, show up. It starts at about 6.45. Get there early. Make sure you get a seat. Also, if you're into trivia, we do trivia nights every Thursday night at 6.30 at Jones Gin Joint. That's all we have for you today on Happy Hour with DJ Kyle. We'll see you next time.